Yo, another day. So what am I up to? I'm gonna go and take me old dear, my mum, to the airport. Wanna come? Let's go. It's another foggy one. Yeah, man. Last two days been proper foggy, innit? it? Look at that. That's the same field I showed you yesterday. Look at this. But anyway. And they're off to Dublin. Let's do this, let's go home, 40 minutes. Stansted Airport. Yeah. Let's show people how boring my life is. <laughs> It's me, mate. On Sunday as well, I'm taking someone to Gatwick Airport. I mean, that's just my life, isn't it? It's my family. Yeah, Ed gets a lift, bruv, takes to the airport. You ain't doing nothing. You're not going on holiday. Yeah, man, cheers, dude. Make me feel great. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, just get out of here. Oh, it's these toll things, isn't it? Where the coins at? Yeah, where the coins at? How much is it? Seven quid. Mate, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look at that. Boom. Oh, getting gear red. I just realized how dirty my windscreen was just, man. That was powerful. Let's get home, man. Yeah, boy. What a lovely day, people. What a lovely day. Let's get home and consume some cannabis. What do you reckon? You up for that? Roll up, man. Vape up. Dab up. Whatever you're doing, do it with me, man. See you soon. This is just beautiful, isn't it, today? What a lovely, lovely day to be driving. Sun come through the window and whacked me in my cheek. I had to check, ain't no bugs or nothing, but bruv. Whoa, shut the window. That was nuts, man. It just come in and hit me in the cheek. I don't know what it was. Mate. M25, baby. M25. Oh, can you hear that plane? Mad. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, we're back, people. We're back. It has been a mission for me, but you know, Got to do these things, got to do these, you know, family arse and that, yeah. My back is hurting, doing that driving, all about, I think it all in all, it worked out about two hours driving. It doesn't seem like a lot, it really doesn't seem like a lot, does it? But with the back and that, you know, the way it is, sitting there doing that, for a couple of hours it does. On the way home, I gave the plug a little call and I said, yo, any lemon cherry still there? And he went, nah, man, all gone. I'm like, oh, bro. He went, but I've got some guava biscotti. I went, oh. I was like, all right then, all right, all right. It's a couple of grams. So yeah. I'll tell you what, I'll do a short again, yeah? If you want to have a look at it, I'll throw the short over, you know. I can uh, trust the old C-Volt. If you know about the C-Volt, yeah, but it's got a little thing on the top of it, right? But um, you can put a humidity pack in it. So once you shut it in there, bosh, 
have you got some weed that's a little bit too moist, like you know, a little bit too spongy, or it's or it's too dry? Stick it in there, and it will absorb it. It will get it to whatever the pack says. A pack will say 62 or 58 or six, whatever the pack will say of humidity. It will get that in there, and it's got the it's airtight. You know, it's good to go. Good to go. Ain't no advert. You know that. Ooh. Totally different to the uh, lemon cherry, but still. Oh, I nearly pulled it out then. Mate, this is lovely. It's a crappy mug, it's a crappy mug. Mate, you heard that. Oh, yeah, so if you've got that cream. Oh, my mouth started watering. Did you see that? <laughs> you've got that cream. You've got that. Cookie type, you know when I say cookie, I mean Girl Scout cookie, the flavor of Girl Scout, the, the flavor, the smell of Girl Scout cookie. I don't say it actually smells like cookies from the oven because you don't, you know, but the, the weed Girl Scout cookies, it smells, a, it's got that in there. Uh, it's gelato. It's got the creaminess from the gelato in it. Yeah. And then it's got that, you know that pungent, that pungentness from the, SFOG, is it SF, yeah, SFOG. I'm just trying to remember. Um, but yeah, so you can you can smell all three of them things. If you got, oh yeah, the cream that's coming through on that. You know, I just had to jostle, because I cracked that mug and stuck it back in there and done the lid up. Wow. Creamy, earthy, sort of, Got that cakiness from the 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 cakiness, the cookiness from the but the Girl Scout cookie. Ah oh, yeah. Mm. All right. I'll be back. One minute. Oh. Oh. Making my mouth water. Oh, what you smell is what you taste. Oh my days. I love it when weed does that, don't you? Sometimes you get a weed and you're like, what? Let me smell that. And you taste it and it's like, it don't taste like the smell. But this, mate, mate. <coughs> it's got some expansion. I can feel it. You know, like before, I literally can feel ting, ting, like tingling. As soon as I take some, you know, I, I feel terpenes and everything I get this tingling in my neck and I can feel it going down my spine yeah I can feel it I can literally feel it going down my spine and just it's like a you know like the pay the, the relief that sometimes a hot water bottle can give don't take it away does it but it's like oh you know them ones, innit? <laughs> Everyone knows that. You get in a hot bath and you're like, oh, mate. You know, the older you get, the more noise you make. I've realised that. The older you get, you get into a bath and you go, oh. <laughs> Take it from me. Yeah, the flavour's there. You know the cherry gelato one? It had fruitiness at the beginning and then finished on um, like an earthiness. But this one's a little bit different. It's sort of the same flavor all the way through, like when you exhale, it's just nice and earthy and creamy and, oh yeah. Seriously though guys, driving for me, for, I know I don't see like I'm in a lot of pain, but doing that couple of hours driving, it really does. Get to me, man. I want to drive to Holland next year. This year, what did I say next year? I want to drive to Holland this year. It's about a six hour drive. I'm gonna to have to stop so many times. But the problem is, I ain't gonna, well, I can travel through countries. I've got travels through so many countries, I'd have to contact so many embassies and get so many. Oh, bruv, I'm just gonna do it. You know what I mean? I'm driving with my father in law. So hopefully, he can take over for half the journey and I can just chill in the car 
get to Holland and medicate. That's the plan. That's the plan. It's only six hours, man. You know what I mean? I, I got it's an hour and a half to Dover. Then you do the little crossing, whatever the crossing is. And then it's about five hours maximum from Calais. Although I am gonna be stopping off at Dunkirk on the way just because I've seen the film and I like doing things like that. I'm a bit sad. <laughs> It's gonna be a nice little time, but hopefully he can take over and drive most of the way. Most of the way, I'll say half the way, because he's got problems himself, you know what I mean? Ah, oh, mate. See them pancakes this morning? Yeah. Kids loved it, man. Got up half five, made the pancakes, boom. Fed the children, everyone's happy, got them to school. Took my mum to Gatwick, uh, not Gatwick, took my mum to uh, Stansted Airport. Come back, yeah, take the dogs for a walk. If you've got to this part of the video, I'm gonna, just gonna let you know, I'm gonna show you my dogs at the end of it. If any of you are interested in seeing a couple English Bulldogs, you know, they're funny things, man, they're funny things. It's been a good, productive day. And on Sunday, I'm taking my niece to Gatwick Airport, cause she's going to Egypt. Lucky, lucky her, eh? So my mum's in Dublin. You know that joke, don't you? The biggest city in the world because it keeps doubling and doubling. <laughs> and joke central. You know I'll vlog it. You know I'm gonna vlog it. You know people look at you so weird, you know, when your video recorded like. Even if the camera ain't even on them, and they're, and you're, it's on you, blatantly on you. They all, they're all like, they're not used to it around here, man. They're not used to it. Like, to be honest, in Romford, I just don't see anyone vlogging or anything like that. I've never, never seen it. <coughs> so it might be a new thing to them. I don't know. You'd think in Romford that, that they'd have people vlogging and shit like that, you know, but they don't. Not that I see, anyway. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to give the biscotti guava. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to give the guava biscotti a rating out of 10. 8.8 .8. infinity 8.8 .8 is getting just it's just it's lovely it's lovely but the other one did cost a little bit more and there's probably a reason behind that because it just had a little bit more flavor you know but as it comes for pain relief uh, if i ever if, if i was going for it just for my pain relief i wouldn't bother with the lemon cherry because they both work tremendously for my back pain but you know, I'm a flavor chaser, so I can't help it. <laughs> I've been doing it for over two decades, you know what I mean? So it's just it comes with a territory, doesn't it? You end up being a bit fussy in your old age. <laughs> yeah, anyway, people, if no one said it to you today, all right, you know I'm gonna say it to you. I love you, and I hope you have a lovely evening. Peace out, see you on the next one. Look at these two. It's a bright ass, isn't it? Yeah, man, check them out. More beautiful babies, look. Look at them. Girls, girls. Hello. <laughs>